Hi, yes, hello! Not the toilet paper in the background. Yeet! Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday! Happy 4th of July! If you're American, if you're not, it's a Monday. I was going through my t-shirts and I didn't have any America or 4th of July shirts, so I was like, why not go way off base and wear a Murray Christmas? As you know, I've been moving stuff around on the channel. Well, I moved stuff around in my schedule to make sure I had an upload for Pride Month. And then I realized that the 4th of July fell on Monday. So then I was like, crap, I have to do something for the 4th of July. Episode three of the Star Wars prequels will be up next Monday. Today though, if you haven't read the title or seen the thumbnail, is Independence Day. I feel like, and I'm not coming for anybody when I say this because there are a million and two reactions to Independence Day because of the 4th of July. So like, why not make it a million and three? This is not an original thought. I never claimed to have ever had an original thought. Independence Day, 4th of July, American. It seemed fitting, it seemed appropriate. So I don't know if Independence Day is going to be uh, in a, uh, what, a historically accurate film. I don't know if this is like, you know, I don't know if this is gonna take place in 1776 and it's like for real. I don't know who's in it. And you know what I haven't done in a while? Look up a movie poster, so let's do that. This is the risk I run when I look up movie posters to try and figure out what the movie can be about is, ah! Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. And I cannot tell you, my excitement for this went from like a burp to like a burp out the roof because it says, the question of whether or not we are alone in the universe has been answered. Independence Day. Okay, listen, I love sci-fi. That is something that I have found out about myself on this channel. I mean, I loved Alien, I loved Terminator, I loved Predator, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Like, I, okay, so like, I'm here for it. Also, just as a person outside of the YouTubeverse, I do believe in extraterrestrial life. I'm not saying little green men, I'm just saying the universe is very expansive. The odds of us being the only intelligent life, life form, pretty slim. Do I think we're gonna get invaded by aliens anytime soon? I mean, hell. The world's kind of gone to hell in a handbasket over the past two years, so I'm not gonna rule anything out. So there's that. I still don't know who's in this because I can't read the fine print at the bottom of the picture, but I am here for some alien shit. It's a two and a half hour long movie, which I know y'all always be coming for me when I say that's kind of long, unless this can capture my attention. But with this already being sci-fi and aliens, I think I think this is gonna be a good one for me. I'm really excited to be back in the world of sci-fi. If aliens are coming, then I bet there's action. I wonder what the aliens look like. Do we get to see the aliens? Cause you remember how badly I wanted to see the aliens in Close Encounters of a Third Kind? really bad. So, no more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday on this 4th of July, which is Independence Day. What kind of intro is this? I've literally never seen this before. Real question. Start a debate in the comments. Was the moon landing real or not? <laughs> okay, so this review is gonna go so well. Is there really a plaque on the moon? That's a real question. Is there really a plaque on the moon? <laughs> I am so excited, so excited. There are no words for my excitement. And of the world as we know it. Working hard or hardly working, buddy? So is that like a Morse code, you think? Like a What are the odds that extraterrestrials know Morse code, though? And if they do, what are the odds that it's the same code as ours, you know? Also, so far, I don't recognize any of these people. I don't know, he kind of looks familiar, but I don't, I don't know yet. Good morning, George. Morning, Mr. President. Is this the guy from Lake Placid, maybe? Oliver asking, please, sir, I'd like some more. I'm sure that's a reference to something, but I don't get it. Ten sexiest men of the year. I mean, I'm not gonna argue ten sexiest. I don't know if you mean the top ten, like, out of the whole nation, but, like... Excuse me, Mr. You're not bad looking. I ain't mad at looking at you. What are you thinking? Um, 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 Jeff Goldblum! Fr Jurassic Park! The Fly! So, why do we and Jeff Goldblum have the same glasses as the Rambo? Um, have y'all seen the article that says the AI at the Google headquarters has become sentient or whatever, like self-aware? So add that to your apocalyptic bingo card if you have that. 
that kind of flying, you're gonna waste most of your pesticide. But who am I to criticize? It ain't me. I can't fly. I don't drive a crop duster. Lucas's farm's on the other side of town. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, he's flying drunk. F-U-I. Flying under the influence. You mean mama ship broke off into little baby ships? Oh my god, this is my worst nightmare. This is my worst nightmare. Risk journey one, dangerous falling object into many. Well, I mean, it's kind of already doing that itself. Yet over 15 miles in width themselves. 15 miles in width themselves? The babies are 15 miles wide? So Jeff Goldblum always plays people who are obsessed with life. Jurassic Park, he was obsessed with dinosaurs and the fly, you know. His obsession with transporting life and now he has all these plants in his office. I'm so scared already. <laughs> I'm only 15 minutes into this movie. Widespread panic has gripped the countryside. As it should. Okay, well, they're all dead. Well, I guess if the ships are coming into our atmosphere, it'd be a lot like a meteorite or a comet. You know, it would the outside would be on fire as it enters the atmosphere. Connie, can we expect the same kind of panic we saw in Russia? Absolutely, if not worse. Not to panic. The best idea right now is to stay in their homes. Oh, because that's exactly what the people are going to do. Not panic and stay at home. Got it. You gotta help us. Well, that is, that is simply not comforting for me. Take it slow, don't run. Walk down to the basement. Also, is that man's voice okay? Seems years back, our boy was kidnapped by aliens. Did all kind of- Oh, uh, I've always wanted to meet somebody who says that they got abducted by aliens. I would love to hear stories. When they took you up in their spaceship, did they do any- Butt stuff? Why, do you want to try butt stuff? Are you jealous? Looks like y'all came to the diner just in time. Hope you're hungry, because you're about to eat your words. Will Smith is in this? Have I seen Will Smith on the channel yet? I don't think so. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Like the injuries and mishaps that panic would bring. Stopping traffic, car pileups. Wow. Terrifying. See, this is what I mean. Like the panic and just everything just be falling apart. But you know what? If there's a 15 mile wide spaceship in the sky, I guess your car is not exactly your biggest worry. Be a lot of frightened people out there. Gonna be? Currently is. Can we talk about Will Smith's shoulders? I need you to look up, Will. I need you to look up. There you go. There we go. Now we're paying attention. A countdown? A countdown? And then what? You're dead. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yep, now we start freaking out. Historic and unprecedented event has occurred. Welcome to life since 2020, honestly. She straight up hung up on him? I'd be listening to him at a time like this. I'd be listening to anybody who could read binary code at this point. Please do so in an orderly fashion. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, absolutely not gonna happen. Leave for the fourth. Yeah, well they canceled it. Uh, girl, is now really the t really really? That's why. And that's why he's got to go. You will see that there is nothing to be scared of. That 15 mile wide ship in the sky in front of the, your house says otherwise. Whoa, 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 whoa! I mean, I don't blame him for being protected, but geez, Louise, that scared me. Cutting you off. Yeah, we're gonna get a ticket. Get oh, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. If you're gonna be in the broom broom lane, go broom broom. They did all kinds of experiments on me. I wanna they know his full story. I wanna know every second of his experimenting. Abused him. Sexual. Uh, I wouldn't call him a friend of Mr. Case's because he walked into that diner being a big old dick. Oh my god, that's so funny. Stop it. You know what? Shoot your shot, baby. Not to fire their guns at the visitor spacecraft. That sounds like some Tennessee shit. <laughs> that sounds like some Tennessee shit right there. The one knee approach because it puts the booty like right there. Yep, same, same. <laughs> oh, so he applied to be an astronaut. Listen, he can be an astronaut married to a stripper. Listen to the first word in the word astronaut. You know what I mean? Cause her ass out of this world. I fucking hate myself. I 
she ain't gonna keep to that promise. She wasn't making eye contact when she said it. She always keeps her portable phone listed. Portable phone. You wanna ring the bell or should I? <laughs> I was gonna say, how do you get in the White House at this point? Yeah, all cable repairmen can. I was gonna say, I don't, I don't think your son is a cable repairman. With a type of visual communications device. <gasps> Are we gonna use lights like we did in Close Encounters of Third Kind? Like colorful lights and music? I was kind of close. We are using lights. Nearing point of contact, number one. What's your plan? Flash some lights and hope they do the same? Shh, it's a dream. Shh, David, <laughs> That's so funny. You know what? Take it all in. Why not? You'll probably die today. Oh my God. They're getting right up on it. They're getting right up on it. Now, what happens if our welcome light sequence is their light sequence? You know what I mean? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh my God, you guys. I'm so scared. <laughs> You know what? I th you know what? I think they're hostile. What an interesting group of people atop this building. I am so scared. Are they about to like vaporize them? Do we get to see what they look like? I kind of wish I had on like a heart monitor because. Wow, this old man. He did not know what he thought. He just lost a game of chess today. When in reality, he met the president and now he's on Air Force One. What a big day. Yeah, they're vaporized. Yep, yep, we killing people today. They did not come in peace. Oh, that helicopter ain't gonna make it. Nah, it, it wasn't gonna make it. Oh, this is a cool shot. Oh, dude, that's so cool. That's so cool looking. How y'all gonna outfly an explosion though? I guess we're gonna find out today. Oh my God. See, you know I'm stressed when you when your Apple Watch is like, maybe you should take a couple deep breaths. You know what? I don't know if I would run. I think it would be incredibly obvious that even if you did run, you wouldn't make it. I think I would just stay in my car and accept my fate. You would die pretty quick in this, right? Like, but then again, I also live with chronic depression, so this could just be the mental illness talking. <laughs> Yo, uh, a dog jumping from an explosion is so badass. So Lady Liberty ain't doing too well, along with the majority of the human race. What's wrong with this kid that he broke that medicine and now he's sick and, and he's like, do you know how much this costs? The helicopter never made it to Ellis. Oh no! Wh where do you even begin to go? Where do you even, where do you even start? Just a little anxious to get up there and whoop E.T.'s ass. <laughs> It's very top gunny in this moment. What's our plan? To just just shoot shoot at the big old ships? What's our plan? Do we do we even have a plan? What makes them think that this alien ship ain't got like protective boo -boo -boo boos? Or even a shield? I didn't even think about a shield. Oh, he lost his friend. Okay. What is this? What is this? Did not shoot that green shit at me. <laughs> Okay, so now there's even smaller, or I guess planes, essentially, engaging in combat. And they have shields on those. We are SOL to the max. The people and things that they didn't destroy and kill on the first explosion are getting taken care of by individual ships. Awesome. Oh, that was good, that was good. Okay. Crash landing. Are we finally gonna get to see when the aliens? God, Lord. Well, I guess you couldn't stiff leg it because then you just break your legs. <laughs> Walk up to it. Go beat its ass. Who's the man? Huh? Who's the man? You're the man. I'm so scared. Let me see. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. Welcome to Earth. Did he just punch it in the face and say, welcome to Earth? Like, what makes you think that thing ain't gonna crawl back out? Also, very funny. Cause he smacked the shit out of that alien, kind of like he did Chris Rock. It's really nice of you to help us. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, what does he have that he needs medicine for? Bye. Girl, I understand it being your last day on earth. I understand the guy saying you don't want to die a virgin, do you? But like, there's way bigger things going on. Full nuclear strike over American soil. What little bit is left of the American soil, yes. A delay now would be more costly than when you waited to evacuate the cities. No, no. Oh, that's a slap in the face. That's rude. You ain't got to throw that in his face like that. Uh, that thing that you found in New Mexico. Dead. Ah, Roswell. You cannot defy what I don't think he's really interested in leaving. I think this is his vibe. I think this is like his peak. <gasps> the first lady. Is she still alive? Hey girl! Oh, this is this is wonderful news. Through the burning desert. He actually got it? He actually got it? He actually killed it? I could have been at a barbecue! <laughs> ah! 
Could have been at a pool party. What is this? What is this? Will you go look up? Oh, the RVs. Okay. Whew. I thought the aliens had land vehicles and I was going to be like, oh my God. We're going to Area 51, baby! How'd the president not know about Area 51? $10 on a hammer, $30,000 on a toilet seat, do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, this... Beans, I'll let you out in a second. So is this the same kind of ship that Will just took down? The last 24 hours have been really exciting. I bet so. People are dying out there. I don't think exciting uh, is a word I'd choose to describe it. Yeah, uh, good point on your end. You guys want to see them? They want to take over the planet? You have one? Like alive? Like you have one alive? They look like little squids. See if you're as smart as we all hope you are. Okay, now is not the time to be petty about the one time he fought you. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. All these RVs rolling up to Area 51. It's kind of like when we all decided that we were going to go storm Area 51. You're really starting to make us look bad. <laughs> I was going to say, David is very smart. Definitely not your average cable guy. Don't touch anything. <laughs> that's what I would have done. Hey, now, sir, these scientists are going to be like, how'd you get a hold of this? And Will's going to be like, punched him. One was sprayed out with saline. Here's the problem with his adrenal cortex. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that, that is. Classify. I mean, how far up you gotta be to know classified information? I know there's different levels, but like, I feel like the president should know about this. Oh, in Memphis! In Memphis, did y'all see that? Hasn't anyone told you? What a dumb question to ask. If somebody asks about something, don't reply with, has nobody told you? Obviously, nobody has told that person. He thinks she's dead, now she thinks he's dead. Your nails look good though. Good money. Hell yeah, girl, make your coin. If I looked as, as good as her, I'd be up and down that pole. Yeah, no pressure. You're only taking care of the First Lady of the United States, of what's left of the United States. We're dissecting it while it's alive? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Let's proceed. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so it definitely communicates telepathically. Which part is the actual alien? The thing that's inside or the thing they cut open? Okay, well now we're gonna have an alien loose. Where is Ripley when you need her, you know? Dr. Oaken. They're not gonna answer. What a dumb, what a dumb thing to do. You see all that smoke and fog in there? You think somebody's gonna be able to answer? <laughs> He's talking through him? The alien is talking to his body? If we can negotiate a truce. We don't negotiate with extraterrestrials. No, okay, so we gotta kill him. What's that Toby Keith song? We'll put a boot in your ass, it's the American way. Don't, don't, don't! What makes you think guns are gonna take care of it? Maybe I was wrong. The snooped the bastards. Okay, but like, what about the shields over their ships? It's literally your last day alive, possibly, and this is what you want to do? Just, you know what, have some makeup sex or hate sex and call it a day. Just tell them I hate you. <laughs> I don't know, that guy has, has a solid, solid 50, 60 pounds on you, Will. I don't think you beat that guy into submission. Not when they exit the ship and start attacking people like they did at El Toro. I don't understand why we think nukes are gonna work when they have that shield over every ship. But did it hit the ship or did it hit the shield? I feel like you're celebrating a little too soon. You got the bastards. Yeah. Did you? Okay. I'll take that W. Talking to maze. Never mind. We're gonna take that W, turn it right into an L. Cause we lose us. <laughs> Aww. Now this is special and all, but this is the end of the world. So maybe we load them up and head them out. Bleeding where? What does that mean internal bleeding? I mean, bleeding internally, I understand. But like, why can't you stop some types of internal bleeding? Like open her up, maybe, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I have a degree. I have a bachelor's of arts in communications with a minor in theater. What do I think I know 
about internal bleeding and how to handle such things. Did she say, did she die? Oh, she did, she died. Now we have to tell the kid. I'm so sick of putting on makeup for movies that make me cry. This is why I never wear makeup in my reviews. I never know what's gonna make me cry. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. What a crazy day he's having. Just an average civilian. You still have your health? What does that matter in times like these? Just freezing concrete float before you catch cold. This is how we stop them. Crank up the AC. Okay, did we not account for the ricochet that would happen, David? You could have killed somebody. Okay, so how do we do it? What'd you do? How did you do that? My thoughts exactly. That mothership, it's gonna then filter down into all the corresponding ships below. But we gotta make it all the way back to the mothership to do this? Um, <clears throat> fly their alien craft out of our atmosphere and dock with it. Easy. Easy peasy. Load the virus. We then set off some kind of uh, explosion. Is this what y'all thought would happen at y like during Y2K or whatever happened at the turn of the millennium? You want us to coordinate a massive worldwide counter-strike with a window of only a few minutes? Do you have another option, my guy? Not to mention that this whole cockamamie plan is dependent on a machine that no- <laughs> And the cock duty car! With your permission, General, I'd like the opportunity to try. <gasps> You're gonna get to be an astronaut anyway. You're fired. Is now really the time to be without a general defense? I'm, I understand that you're not getting along, but like... Morse code. I guessed Morse code! It's from the Americans. Oh. Of course it's from the Americans, because aliens wouldn't know Morse code! Military training is preferable, but anyone who can fly a plane would be useful. Sober. Drive a plane. Sober. Just want you to know that, uh, I won't let you down. It's revenge time for this dude. Why well, do I feel like this movie is just one big PSA for recycling? Do you have the ring? <gasps> oh! Wow! Dearly beloved, gathered here in We can't expedite this. We gotta do the whole dearly beloved thing. We can't do the whole, like, do you? I do. Do you? I do. Kiss. Married. Like, maybe we can do the detailed version after we save the world? We're a little young. Are we trying to be picky when the world's ending, or? I did in our common interest. Survival. <laughs> okay, this is sweet, this is touching, this is moving. We gotta go kick some alien ass. Good morning, Dave. Is that the first, is that Siri first volume? I feel like the kid being sick is like a weird side story that had no point. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I keep forgetting how long it's been since I've spoken because I just, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Oops. <laughs> You know what, honestly, after this, I bet NASA wants to hire him. I said nothing, I breathed, I had a single thought. I'm so focused. They're accepting this ship, thinking it's one of their own on there. Little do they know, we've come to kick ass. Oh, smart, 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 smart. Keep it quiet, very sneaky. Somebody get on the Morse code, let the other countries know. He's got a lot of faith in David. <gasps> okay, all you other planes, turn your ass around. Fire all of them, everything you got. Oh man, oh man, how did I forget about the individual ships? But this would have ruined their shields too, right? Yep, got it, got it. Awesome, now it's like a real life game of Space Invader, let's go. But how you just gonna revert? How you just gonna reverse out of there like, oh sorry you guys, didn't mean to come back yet. Man, oh man. I'm not saying we should have sacrificed those people out there. I'm not saying that at all. All I'm saying is David's boo thing is now putting herself in harm's way. Why don't you kiss a little? We'll both die very short, but at least we'll be together. Girl, where exactly do you think you're gonna sneak off to in this underground bunker with hundreds of people? Where, do you think he was just gonna take you right there on the floor in front of God and everybody? Why don't we just shoot at the blue thing? Shoot the missile inside where the blue light's coming from. No! And it's armed when it's jammed? So it's stuck on the plane? Your one choice, self-sacrifice. Hell yeah! Time to get some revenge. Nice. I hate that he had to be sacrificed for that, but like, if it works, it works. Hold on a second, that takes care of one. There were like seven over the United States alone. Okay, so he said spread the word. Okay, so now they're gonna let the other countries know how to do it. Okay, got it. 
Oh my god, I was so caught up in taking that ship down that I forgot we still got people on the mothership. I mean, might as well go ahead and smoke them because like it did work. We did figure out how to take them down. Y'all might not know that, but the mission was successful. Oh, I forgot they had that on board. I forgot. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think I breathed. Well that, what's gonna happen to them? Number two, if they're the length distance of our moon away from Earth, is that sonic blast gonna catch up with us? I don't know. We're gonna need a bigger Area 51 to house that ship. Smoking the cigars, I love it! And it's over? Let's talk about it. Hold on, I gotta find out, hold on. I gotta see who um, dude was. That was very descriptive. I gotta find out who the president was. Will Smith knew that. Bill Pullman, okay. He wasn't like blasted and he wasn't space balls. I, didn't, I forgot. Okay. Okay. Wow. Number one. Number two, Will Smith could totally get it. And so could Bill Pullman and Jeff Goldblum. Okay, there's that. This movie did not feel like two and a half hours long. And if you're one of those people who skips the intro but watches the review, then you miss me saying that, listen, I don't, oh my God, the jump scare of when they cut the exoskeleton open. Forget about it. I, this, this movie was equal parts action, comedy, love and romance, sci-fi, suspense, jump scares. This was great! And like I said in the intro, I, with how big the universe is, there's no proof that we're the only, you know, I'm just saying. We don't know what's out there and I think that there is more out there, intelligent life forms. I really hope that they're not coming like this. Cause if so, your girl's checked out. Y'all y'all heard me say it when the first wave of fire was coming through, taking out all the cars. I already told y'all I would just stay in the car. I wouldn't have hidden the maintenance the maintenance shaft like, uh, like what's her tits did. I wouldn't have done that. I would have just been like, well, today's the day. You know? <laughs> Oh my God, oh, the first lady dying. That was kind of a roller coaster because you know, you thought she died, found her, got her back, dead. So that was kind of a roller coaster there. Is this my first time seeing Will Smith on the, on the channel? Bill Pullman is one of those like average white guys that's like in a lot of movies and you don't realize it until you're watching a lot of movies. But he's not somebody that's just like, I don't feel like he's a celebrity that lives in the forefront of people's minds, but he's in like a lot of stuff. This wasn't just Independence Day for America. This was Independence Day for the world. What's the other country song? It's Independence Day. Okay, those aliens were scary looking. What an interesting take on aliens though, like squid-like looking things and like an interesting head shape, you know? You know what, this movie's still great. This movie really stood the test of time. I am gonna ask again, I don't understand why we had this weird side story of the sick kid, because if it was to establish the crop dust pilot, you could have done that anyway without him having children, without the sick kid. I understand dying aversion was like a comedy callback and that was kind of funny, but like, and you know, the blonde headed curly kid was introduced when he brought the penicillin to help the sick kid, I understand. But like, when you're bringing in all these strangers anyway into this underground bunker, like he could have just been a random teenager in this RV camp. You know what I mean? I just feel like that was a side story that didn't have to be there. But then again, I'm from the South. I know what a crop duster is. There could be people in larger cities that don't know what a crop duster is and like, there had to be those external conversations. This isn't a movie that I would watch again tomorrow just because of its length, but Independence Day, I'm docking a star because of length. Four out of five star. Four, four out of five stars. Very good, very good movie. Stands the test of time. The graphics, beautiful. Beautiful, believable. For 1996, I feel like this was really, really impressive. I mean, this is, this is like right up there with Alien and Close Encounters for me. Oh my God, when Will said, how's that for a Close Encounter? Also, very funny, cause he smacked the shit out of that alien, kinda like he did Chris Rock, and honestly, so Will just has a history of punching things, got it. Independence Day, 1996, with Bill Pullman, Jeff Goldblum, Will Smith, four out of five stars, only docking that one star just because it's two and a half hours long and I feel like they could have went without the sick kid side story. Glad I finally got to it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're an American, happy 4th of July. If you're not, happy Monday. Uh, be safe, don't party too hard, don't drink and drive. 
don't don't look up at fireworks because some of the stuff can get in your eye. I had a friend who did that, launched a firework, and then like was watching him like right underneath, and some of it got his eye. 26 years old, had to have a surgery to remove his eye. Wild. Okay, so be be careful, make smart decisions, but have fun. And this Friday is grumpier old men thanks to Inky Binky 2000. So like, subscribe, stick around, links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse, and I'll see you right back here on Friday. Bye.